folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks of video. So folks, today is Back to the Future Day. It's actually June 14th, 2019, but in Oz, it's June 15th. It's nice and early over there. And Keith has already made the latest release available to us so that we can go and download it. Now, what does that mean? It means there's an exciting addition in Dot 29 to the shader effect. First of all, if you use the shader effect such as I did, you may have found some crashes. So hopefully, Keith has uh, looked at, at that. I'm sure he has, and I'm sure he has a couple fixes in there. If you have issues with crashes, always report them because when you do, X lights gets fixed so it doesn't crash. So please remember that. So today I want to show you the major addition to the shader effect, and that is the download button. So we're going to get into the download button, but before we do, I'd like to let you know that today that this video is brought to you by the PPD Sequence Club. When you join the PPD Sequence Club, you get one awesome sequence each month, sequence by PPD Sequence Team. We also offer access to our vendor discounts special page that gives you hundreds and thousands of dollars of discounts to your pixels, your controller builds, your prop purchases, your wireframe purchases, and much, much more. So join the PPD Sequence Club, the club that not only gives you a sequence each month, but also pays you with discounts for being in the membership. So thank you for joining if you have and let's go ahead and get into this. So what's so awesome about the download is now we don't, if you don't want to go onto a website and download a bunch of stuff onto your computer, this is what's awesome. Uh, a number of these shaders have been added into X lights. They're not actually inside X lights. They're in as a download, a link to the actual item. So uh, let's say we like this uh, color diffusion flow. We can, we can see a couple things here. We can see, uh, we can see the name of the, um, specific effect is color diffusion flow there is a uh rudimentary rating of five out of five it looks pretty cool uh some some effect uh, some of the shaders like this one here vv logo it's a one out of five and it really isn't that interesting but uh, if you wanted to download one of these all you would have to do is uh, go to the download select the one that you like um and you'll see that there's a number of different ones. And uh, some of these are subjective. If you like them, great. It, I didn't, I cared for this one. I like this one. Uh, so wh whoever posted this one, they put a five out of five. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. So what's gonna happen when you download this is you're going to physically have a new directory added in to your X lights uh, directory. That directory is going to be called shaders. It's going to go right inside your folder where you're currently working out of. So wherever it is that you are working in your setup tab here, wherever your folder is, X lights is going to go in. This is the, my, it's going to create this shader folder for you. And this is going to, this is a good idea to get into, uh, uh, whenever you do create your shaders that you want to make sure that they're organized. So X lights is now built so that it helps you create that file structure so that you put them all in one place. So with that in mind, we'll go ahead and lay this down and see if it works. And there it is. Looks pretty cool. Now this P10 panel is literally, it's a two by two. So it's, uh, uh, I want to say 32 tall by, uh, 64 wide. So it's a P10. It's not, it's not anything super fancy. You make it smaller, you probably a little more definition. It looks a little better. It's at a smaller, uh, pace there whenever you're seeing it further back from it. Uh, but you can see it works. We got a bunch of different neat things here. You can change the sliders and get some cool effects. You can nudge it, uh, X, Y here. You can move things back and forth. So it's, it's really awesome that what you can add into X, uh, through the, to the shader program, uh, through X lights that is. And, uh, but the other thing that you'll be aware of is that there are three links here, the GLSL sandbox, the shadertoy.com website, and also interactive shader format. So um, I want to show you next how you can physically download these because I don't think I did a good job of that last time uh, whenever I did the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and click. I, th I think I should be able to click on this and see. Uh, there we go. And it opened up. It actually opened up three copies on my uh, uh, browser here. I'll just close those two. Uh, and, and what you can see here, this is probably the best uh, of the websites that are available now that uh, you can go to to get ones that are more um, 
that are more workable or work with X within X Lite. So my recommendation is if you're looking for uh, an, uh, uh, a shader that works, uh, you want to go with something such that, that is graphic driven, uh, not so much uh, mask driven. And what's the difference between them? Well, this is a mask. You, you have a photo and they're still working. The developers are still working on, on bringing things up to date and working with trying to get things with images to work. But at this time, we're, we're seeing a couple issues with images uh, image shaders that, that you know where where it, it changes the image kind of like the warp effect uh, for the shaders for photos so this this one may not work it may work I don't want to say that it won't but we can always try and download it from here and and do it uh, uh, we can we can see if that'll work but it, you're you're sure to find some of these other ones like this uh, conch circles I, I assume that it, it's meant to be concentric circles and uh, what you can do is if you like this one and you want to try it you can click download and whenever you do you just select OK if you're in Chrome or Firefox uh, other ones that downloads a different way uh, here's my downloads I'm gonna go ahead and put that open that up I'm gonna set this off to the side and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my X lights uh, directory I think this is it Let's see. Yes, this is it. I have the shader file on my P10 testing uh, thing. And we'll go ahead and click and drag my concentric circle uh, download over there. And I'm going to go back to the, I'm going to close the website because I don't need in there anymore. Uh, this one I don't believe is in here. So let's see if it works. Because if it works, then we have another one that we can use. So click browse and you can, and remember concentric circles, I just moved it in there double click on it and it looks like it is working and let's see if we change the number of rings maybe that will do something for us uh, maybe it needs to be much longer there we go it's doing something interesting so it's doing what it what the website shows that it does we can speed it up a little bit um, and it looks a little different okay so I would say this uh, specifically this one works pretty well and not only does it work well, now what we can do is we can also document this on the um, on the XLights website page. Uh, let's see. Now to do that, to document it, I th I'm going to go back to um, I'm going to go back to the website and find the uh, physical address for that. Uh, to do that, we'll go back here, click on interactive shader format. We'll pull this over here and it may not, it, here it is on the website. So we'll open this up in a new tab and we'll go over here and grab the link to the specific, uh, the specific shader that we're going to ask X lights to put this into the program. So it's available here for download because it does work. It, it, there is no concentric circles. It's not been added yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the X lights page here and I've got X lights opened up right here. And, uh, what we're going to add in is we're going to add in, uh, we're going to go to the X lights, um, uh, official X light support group. Then what we'll do is we will search for, uh, this tag that I posted in, if you type in hashtag shader post, it's going to bring up this, uh, post that Keith added in back on June 8th, helping to, uh, find shaders that work within the shader, uh, uh, program. So if you look at this post, there are a number of shaders that were available. And if you come over here, you'll see that the ones that are available that did work were listed on this post. Now, unfortunately, shader, uh, the shader website last week crashed and they lost a number of uh, uh, they, their security certificate expired uh, and so they lost a number of them uh, lost uh, a number of them were deleted or, or whatever but uh, what you want to do is you want to do something similar to what I've done here so when you find a shader that works the first thing that you're going to type is the name of the shaders so C O N C C I R C L E S concentric circles. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to say what it does, what whether it works or not, and then you're going to put a rating system. So this one's this one's rather interesting. You can do some neat things with it. It doesn't have color to it, so it isn't like super great, but it does something, and you can use the the color palette to change the colors. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I'm going to say I'm going to give it a rating of let's say four out of five, uh, or even three out of five. 
Uh, but I mean, this is this is totally subjective. You may not like it, but the 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 idea is is that it works and it yeah you know, it does something. It it actually has handles and it moves back and forth. And the final thing you want to add in here is a link to the physical download for that effect. And the reason that this is important is this is the information that will get added into X Lights when you enter that. Hopefully, uh, Keith will see these new additions and he'll go back. And he'll say, oh, somebody added a new item onto those lists. And then he will add that onto this document. And this now will be a shader that is available for you to be able to download without having to go to the website to find something such as this. So uh, one more thing. I'll show you how to change the color here on a... Um, on a specific shader whenever it's white and black which is i call it the gray scale um down here on your color palette uh we can turn this down we don't need that full brightness there um on your color palette here just scroll down let's change the saturation just a little bit and the value just a little bit okay let's play with the color a little bit the hue so moving some of these you will get a response at one point or another. Let's see. Or I could look silly. There we go. I knew it. So I moved it to one side. Now we should be able to move our hue. And now we should be able to get a color that actually overlays on top of it. So if not, if not, there's another thing that we can do. Oh, 50 or zero, zero, zero zero if not and it's black and white we can always come underneath of here i think we can and let's do the color wash effect so i have a, a bunch of different color washes on here a couple different colors selected and you can see the layer blending actually does the color change for us so if we look at uh this effect the black looks like it is transparent so now you can add something extra into this effect that maybe at first it wasn't very interesting now because you have some color and you have some options you can do some cool different things with it so guys that's the end of this video i ran a little long it's about 12 minutes so i want to let you go here thank you for watching if you like the video please make sure you hit that big thumbs up button if you haven't done yet so please hit the subscribe button don't forget the bell notification for for uh when we let you know whenever a new video comes up and is posted to the P P ppd uh youtube page also comments in the comment description for future videos and requests we do read all of those comments and we respond to them if you comment to the video and uh have a great suggestion for a video i'm happy to do it when i have the opportunity to so folks thank you for watching this is clive from pixel pro displays we will see you in the next video down through the gym with those and sam and every time it rains a drink <laughs>